banks and you. This might not happen for everybody, but it is a very common case. It has been said that if all the money in the world were taken away and then redistributed in equal shares to every person on earth, within 10 years, 90% of that money would be under control of 10% of the people, the people that understand banking. Are you happy with the way things are? No matter how good your cash flow is, no matter how good your business is or your position at work, no matter how much money you are making, bank owners have conspired against us and they take a big chunk of our earnings. Why is it that the government is giving them most of our tax dollars? It is called power. Economical? Political? Hello, my name is George Herrera and I am a resident of Southeast Florida and a passionate promoter of the infinite banking concept, a concept developed by Mr. Nelson Nash, author of the book Becoming Your Own Banker. It is very smart how banks have accomplished this conspiracy. They understood that we are lifetime consumers with a constant need for money. So first, they lure us, they entice us entice us to bring our money to them on the promises of being paid interest to grow our money. The government participates of some of those deposits and we get offered an illusion of a better rate of return and tax savings. That sounds fair. But once they capture our money, they lock it out of our control with fees and penalties. Once we allocate most of our money with them, the managers of our money, then we have to get back to them to borrow at a much higher interest to cover our needs, a much higher interest than the interest it was offered to us to capture our money. Every time we take money in and out, we get charged on fees and we have to go through many requirements that make banks richer and ourselves poorer. Plus, they profit even more because they have the control of the money, so the benefit from the growth of the money based on our payments and the interest that we pay for the use of the money. They can also profit, profit even further by deciding where to invest it, invest the money that they have under control, our money. Can we benefit from becoming our own bankers? Can we benefit from learning how to bank for our benefit? You bet we can, and in a big way. If we can put together a pool of money, then we can use this money to finance our needs, and we can pay back for the use of the money to ourselves. And when we do that, we reverse the whole process. And we can take advantage of the strategies banks use. Arbitrage, which is the difference between the cost of the money, the interest we get paid, and the work of the money, the interest we pay for the use of it. Velocity of money, since we have this pool of money and we use it to finance our needs, every time we make payments back to us, we replenish this fund and then we can use this money again to finance more needs. So at one point, we can be making several payments, financing several needs, and that increases the rate of return on our money. What about volume of interest? It is a lot bigger than nominal interest. It is not disclosed in any documents. It is the percentage of the part of the money that is interest in relation to the total loan. So it's a lot bigger than nominal interest. Also, we can recapture our loss opportunity cost because now those payments 
that we make on the use of the money is coming back to us or those payments are coming back to us along with the interest so we will be able to profit from it grow our money out of those payments and we have control and no restriction to access to our money to fund our needs and wants. Now that you learn the advantage of banking for your own benefit then we need to find out which is the best tool to do banking for our benefit which is the best platform to do banking for our benefit. I will be analyzing different tools to use for banking in our next video Bank on your cash value If you want to reach me for comments or you have questions please contact me at www.infinitebanking.com and or www.bankonyourcashvalue.com